So hey everyone, welcome back to DV Tech. So you're back with a new interesting video. So as you all know, Linux has launched a new version of OS that is Linux 20.2. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be seeing how to install that. So all you need to do is follow my steps one by one. So let's go ahead and quickly get into the video. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel for more technical and interesting videos. So let's go ahead and quickly get into the video. So firstly, before installing, let us see the Linux. So what is Linux? It's nothing but just an operating system like Windows and the other OS, but it is an open source operating system. So now coming to Linux 20.2, so if you're firstly or if you're newly using Linux OS, so you could make use of the 20.2 because it is simpler. So compared to the previous version, this version of Linux is easier to use. So there has got a lot of changes in it and also made it simple to use. So it's not complicated. So if you're using it for the first time, this might be very easy and safe. And also this is one of the safest OS to use. So now let's quickly see how to install it. So all you need to do is follow my steps and you don't have any complicated steps. You just have two simple steps that is to install Linux OS and burn it in the pen drive and install. So we're going to be seeing how to do everything in this video. And also the file link is in the description. So you can just go to the description and directly click on the download link to download your file. So let's go wait and quickly see how to do it. So the first thing you need to be doing to install the Linux OS is go to Google Chrome and type download Linux Mint. And now click on enter. So you could find the first official website. So download Linux Mint 20.2. So you need to open it. So here comes the official website of Linux Mint. So here you could find various tabs. So that is Cinnamon Edition. So next one is the Matte Edition. And last one is XFCE Edition. So this is three different editions of Linux. So I prefer you to download the Cinnamon Edition. So this is suitable for all the PCs from low end to the high end PC. So all you need to do is click on download. But before that, let us see the features. So it has got a good update manager. So it has updated in the manager section. And also it has got various options like notifications and some other improvements which is implemented in the Linux Mint. So now let's wait and quickly download it. So here are some features of Linux Mint latest version. So now let's go back and click on the download. So when you tap on download, it redirects to the new page. So here make sure you have a 2GB good internet connection. So the size of the file is 2GB. Now you need to scroll down and select your country. So now mine is India. So you need to find India. Keep scrolling and you could find India. So this is of 64 bit. So as you can see now, you'll be finding the India in the I section. So keep scrolling. So here comes the India. So when you find India, you could find a small link next to it. You just need to tap on it. So once it is done, you can see the download has started. So next thing you need to be having is Rufus. So now let us know, open new tab and type Rufus. So here comes the official website of Rufus. So all you need to do is scroll down and you can find the download link. So that is of Rufus 3.16. So you need to tap on it. So once you tap, you could see that your download has started. So as you can see now, two different files are downloading. For better understanding, let me go to the downloads and show you. So here are the two different files which are downloading. So you need to have some patience. So once it is done, you're ready to use or ready to burn the device. So as you can see now, the two different files are downloaded. So let me click on show in folder. So here are the two different files. So for better understanding, let me paste it in the desktop. So now let me close all the tabs. So to install Linux on your pen drive, all you need to do is open Rufus. So before opening Rufus, make sure you connect your pen drive or once after you open, you make sure you connect your pen drive. So as you can see now, my device is detected or my pen drive is detected. So all you need to do now is select your ISO image. So I pasted it in the desktop. So let me click on open. So once you select your ISO image, you need to click on start and click on OK. Yes. And now you need to tap on OK. So as you can see now, the Linux is installing in the pen drive. So you need to have some patience to get completed. As you can see now the pen drive is ready. So all you need to do is click on close and eject your pen drive. So it's time to boot now. So the first thing you need to be doing is to enter the boot manager by clicking on F12. So I have a low end PC so I'll go to the BIOS and do it. So let me go to the save and exit and click on SanDisk. So once it is done, your pen drive is selected. So if you have a high end system, you could just go directly go to the BIOS by clicking on the F12. So here you could wait for 5 seconds or you can manually enter into the Linux or you can manually start the Linux OS on your PC. So as you can see now the Linux has started. Now here's an important step all you need to do. 
So as you can find the option call or you could find the icon in the desktop called install Linux Mint. So you just need to click on it. And here you need to select your language. So mine is English. So let me click on English and click on continue. So in here you need to select your keyboard layout. So you could select your comfortable language. So let me click on English US and continue. And you could ignore this process. It has nothing to do. You just need to click on continue. And now it is time to format your disk. All you need to be doing is click on install now. Make sure you select your correct partition or make sure you select your proper hard disk. Once you select it, click on install now. And now here you need to click on continue. So once it is done, you need to select your country. So where are you from? I am from India. So let me select India and click on continue. And the next step is to fill your details. So here you need to fill your details. So only then you could proceed to the next step. So let me type my name, computer's name, as well as a password and let me confirm my password. So as you can see now, finally our Linux Mint is installing in our PC. So all you need to do is have some patience. So once it is done, your process is done. So you could start using the Linux Mint 20.2 in your PC and enjoy. So as you can see now, the Linux Mint has finally installed in our PC. So now you could click on restart now or you could continue testing. So if you want to restart your PC, you could click on restart. So let us click on continue testing before restarting. So here's the Linux OS. So this is the my computer. It's just like this PC which is in Windows. So as you can see the pen drive is directed and this is the internal hard disk. Coming to the pictures, videos, downloads, everything is empty. As of now it is newly installed. So these are some applications which is already installed or pre-installed in the Linux Mint OS. So this is all about the Linux OS. So I hope you all got to know how to install Linux OS in your PC. So if you have any suggestions, please do suggest us in the comment section. Also, if you have any doubts in installing, so you can shoot your doubts in the comment section. I'll surely help you to resolve your problems and I'll try to respond to your comments. So and also if you have any suggestions to make a new video on different topics, you could comment it down. I'll surely try to do a video on that. So if this video is helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button and suggest us a in the next video. Until the chat, this is Vishwas from DV Techies.